I know the sun is real bright right now. There's a big rich. Nothing but love here. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I had to ask Mama Kay, could you look at what I'm looking? I'm like, you ain't Mikey. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it's me. <laughs> trying, trying, just trying to get stronger. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We came up to cause trouble for a little while. Yeah. I'm going to go home and then I'm going to come back. I ain't done with St. Louis. Yeah. So, yeah. Still feeding. Huh? Still feeding everyone? Everyone, yeah. Uh, so Thursday, my team is still on the street. Getting yeah. food fed. Hot bangers yeah. in stock. Um, we just did a funeral yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry to yeah, hear that. Our uh, volunteer coordinator. Her son was the kid that was murdered in Haiti. Mm hmm. We shot through the window. I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, we came to make sure. How long ago was that, though? So okay, I can look it up. Okay then. It was three o'clock in the morning. Oh man. Do you have anything about it posted on your page? No, I didn't. I, I, you know, that like inviting trauma. Mm. Richard. Yeah. Where's our Richard? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, we got to 
<laughs> hey, what's I have up? A shirt for you in the car. I All right, let me take this shirt. Right uh, here. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. More people showing up. We're at the St. Louis Police Department headquarters on 19th and Olive.
our voices, we're going to do the demonstration, we're going to get out here, we're going to make noise. But outside of that, we have the power to come together and bring the change that we need and be the change. When I say be the change, I mean affecting legislation, affecting laws. So after we march, after we raise our voice, that the laws that allow these killer cops to get away with murdering us, to get in our way on getting paid leave, that stops. We have to affect the legislation. And with us, the power of the people, right here, we have that power to get in office, run for office, form up teams, and pass those laws that we need. We have the power to be the change. We have that power. Ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop. Ain't no power like the power of the people, because the power of the people don't stop.
people who we are supposed to call when things are going wrong. But for us, when we call or when they show up, it looks different. It turns out, it turns out different. I was thinking about exactly what to say. And the first thing I want to say that our hearts and prayers go out to the family, to the Walker family, to all of those who have been affected, and to all of those that continue to stand and become allies. Because we understand there again that it's going to take all of us working together. Because the way that this country is set up and because of the privilege that it takes us locking on. I'm thinking about those who have affected legislation anti-abortionists, only concerned about us when we come out of the womb, making it out of the womb. But once we get out, we're not safe. The laws do not protect us. The systems are not in place to protect us. When I get ready to call the police, I have to think about, is it going to go bad? Yeah, Are they become. actually going to do the right thing? Will I become a victim? In 2017, my 13-year-old daughter was a victim of police brutality. A week and a half after that, I was sexually groped by a police officer. Six or seven white police officers. Why am I bringing that up? Because it looks different for us. You saw countless times on social media when the police arrive, if there are mass shootings, <laughs> those who do not look like us walk away. They get carried away. But even if we're unarmed, we're shot up. It looks different for us. And so today we're calling for justice once again. Justice and equality, the way that America was supposed to be, but we know that it wasn't built that way. We know that it was built to house two different Americas, a white America, a black America. But today, we're standing to continue to fight, and I'm looking at a sign saying, no justice, no streets, no justice, no peace, and to just continue to say that our lives matter. So I ask all of you, as you continue to go out into your community, and all of those that do not look like me, that you will go get your people, that you will talk to them, that you will speak to their hearts, that you will try to con convince them. Even though they may not change right away, we can continue to lift up the message and rally our people so that we can see change in America. Thank you. I'm moving up the sign.
methods for sterilization. Thus, reproductive health is intrinsically linked to racism and the Black Lives Matter movement. We stand with you today, and we ask that you stand with us tomorrow. No justice, no peace. 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 I said no justice. in the Facebook. I'm about to record from my phone because I can't walk like that. I'll try. No, I don't think I could do it. Yeah, I'm getting in my car for this one. I'll get back online when I get my car. Now, and I'm mad that you 
everybody just for a minute to let y'all know, I ain't going to stop till the casket drop. They put 60 bullets in Jalen Walker. 60 bullets. They fired 90 shots at that kid. One cop even reloaded his gun. When is that ever going to be okay? Yeah. It ain't okay with us, but it's okay with them. So we got to help them to understand that it ain't okay at, at all. Let me, let me keep it clean. Okay? Because I'm, I'm a mother. I have black sons. I have a whole bunch of black grandsons. I got daughters and, and, and granddaughters. You could zoom in with Facebook Live. I guess not.
I thought you were able to zoom in. Let me see if I can. I'm going to try to walk closer. Because I can't zoom in on Facebook Live anymore. And watch this cop say something stupid. I'm going to roll these windows up a little more. Thought I could zoom in, but I can't. Let me get a little bit closer. 